Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to control network access on Azure subnet using Azure Firewall. So before we proceed, I'm going to tell you that controlling the outbound network access is an important part of the overall network security plan. Let's say you may want to limit access to your websites or the outbound IP addresses and ports that can be accessed. One way you can control outbound network access is to your is to use Azure Firewall. With Azure Firewall, it's a built-in marketplace image kind of thing. You can configure the application rules that define fully uh, the the FQDNs that can be accessed from a subnet or using the outbound access from your subnet from the virtual machines that are hosted in that subnet and network rules that define source address protocol destination port and destination address so if you have worked on uh, uh, barracuda firewall servers the or the other third party vendors which provide you the uh, virtual appliance kind of a thing that you can deploy onto your uh, uh, linux vms and integrate with your, your traffic flow between azure and traffic flowing to internet you can do it so the network traffic is subjected to the configured firewall rules when you route your network traffic to the firewall as the subnet default gateway so the the firewall it can be a third party it can be a zero firewall it would act as a default gateway which would act as the network transmit to allow to route your traffic from azure to internet or to the uh, from azure to within azure resources right so it will be just like a next hop uh, if you remember we did a video wherein uh, we were tra routing the traffic using the network virtual appliance that you can deploy so i'm going to quickly log on to the portal and uh, using the arm template i'm going to deploy the azure firewall and then we would proceed further so let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there so this is the portal i'm deploying the template i will just copy paste it, paste it the github url I'll mention that the URL in the comment section. So uh, this is my default subscription. I only have one. I'm going to create a new resource group and I'm going to name it as. Uh, I am sorry about this. I'm going to name it as test firewall RG. You can name it anything you want. And the location I would keep as East US. I'm going to leave all the other fields as the pre populated default. So it's going to create the virtual machine serve jump, server jump name, work name, your uh, firewall virtual network name, your network interfaces, your uh, public IP, network security groups for my NSGs. Shut down, shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry. It can be anything. So if you would see, I'm going to click on put. I'm going to click on I agree. I'm going to click on I agree. And then I'm going to click on purchase. Here, it's going to deploy the template. I'm going to come back and I'm going to pause the video till the time it's get, it gets deployed. As you can see, it is deployment is in progress all right the deployment has been succeeded i'm going to click on go to resource i'm going to see the resources that it has created virtual machine network security group public ip address nick the disk and everything else i'm awesome so now i'm going to deploy the firewall so i'm going to click on the all services here or I can open up a new port new page I'm gonna log me to the Azure portal sometime it's really slow I'm gonna click on create a resource I'm gonna look for uh, firewall type in firewall here hit enter click on firewall let's see what we got here oh, type in here if it's not coming from there sometime it it can act weird just click on networking and go to firewall click on firewall here all right it was a bit delayed but yes firewall microsoft click on create
subscription and uh, use the existing resource group in which you deployed uh, the template so test fwg name of the firewall would be uh, name it test dash firewall 01 all right a region would be east us like this availability zone I'm not going to use I'm going to choose a virtual network here so virtual network I'm going to click on use existing and I'm going to drop it down this is my virtual network that I that was created as a part of the template deployment I'm going to use the existing public IP that I created Okay, wait, hold on. This cannot be done. Okay, I'm sorry, my mistake. I'm going to click on add new because it is already associated with the, one of my jump servers. So I'm going to name it test pip. I'm going to click on OK. Force tunneling, I'm not going to do it. Forward and tags. No review and i'm going to click on create deployment is in progress all right my deployment is complete i'm going to go to my resource and if you would see the firewall private ip is 10.0.1.4 and if you would see the public ip configuration it is the public IP that I associated during the creation of it. And if you will see the properties, name, location, resource group, subscription ID. And here you can set up the firewall rules, network rule collection, application rule collection. And there is, they have Azure Firewall Manager as well. See, it's under preview right now. So you can explore more about it and this is this so now i'm going to create a default route okay i'm going to open up the portal again that's the reason i open different portals because i'm going to i don't want you to get confused and browse through multiple options so i just browse open different tabs and then work accordingly on multiple options here it is i'm going to create one route table i'm going to click on create a resource here I'm going to type table. I'm going to click on create. Name. I'm going to type firewall rule. Firewall rule. I'm sorry. Subscription resource group. I'm going to select the existing one. Here it is. Location East US virtual network. Click create virtual network gateway route propagation enabled. I'm going to click on create. It is creating a root table. Now, when this root table gets created, I'm going to associate it with my virtual network. If you remember, the name of my virtual network is test fw v, and I created that as a part of the template deployment here it is refresh it where is my this is my virtual network i'm going to click on it let's see if it is done or not it is done if you will click on go to resource you will be taken to this route the default route it is empty i'm not created anything i'm gonna go to the subnets under my virtual network that i created at the beginning so this is the virtual network and the uh, this was created as a part of the template deployment as your firewall subnet this and this now if you would click on workload subnet click on it and 
Now click on Roots. I am sorry. I'm sorry, go to the firewall route route table, click on subnets, and then click on associate. I was not, I, I got confused, I was not getting that option. So, this is the VNet that you select, and under this subnet, you will only select this workload subnet. Then you click on OK, it's going to associate it. Make sure that you, if you are following that template that I'm going to ping, uh, I'm going to paste in the comment section. And make sure that you create the, the associate the root table with the workload subnet otherwise it will not work now click on route click on add to add a route in the root table this would be fw-tg firewall default gateway your address prefix would be to go to internet so i am going to go this Next hop type would be your virtual appliance and the next hop address. So Azure Firewall is actually a managed service, but virtual appliance works in this situation. So for the next hop address, type the private IP address of for the firewall that you noted previously. So uh, see next hop type, I'm going to select. There is no uh, firewall here. So virtual appliance, if I'll select, I can enter the the IP address of my firewall that I created so if it is gone there let me refresh it this is my private IP address 10.0.1.4 I'm going to select 10.0.1.4 I'm going to click on OK it is adding a root here I've created a firewall route. I've created a firewall. Now I am going to create configure an application rule. So in this, we will create an application rule that allows outbound access to msn.com. Go to the resource group. This one that I created. Click on the firewall. Go to the firewall. Here it is. It is my firewall. If you would click on rules here under settings tab, click the application rule collection here. Click on add application rule collection. And give a name, app, any name you can give. So I'm going to give this, this. Set the priority to 200. Action would be to allow under rules here target fqdns under root target fqdns the name would be allow gh type in any name and your source address would be ip address would be the one that is in your subnet so it would be this i'm sorry 10.0.2.0/24 your protocol port would be http and https and your target fqdns would be msn.com okay click add It's updating the firewall. So Azure Firewalls includes a built-in rule collection for infrastructure FQDNs that are allowed by default. These FQDNs are specific for the platform and can't be used for other purposes. So now I'm going to create, configure a network rule. In this, in this part, we will create a network rule that allows outbound access to two IP addresses on port 53. 
So if you would uh, click on the rules and you click on network rule collection, you click on add a network rule collection and you give it a name net network collection 01 priority keep it to 200 action would be to allow action select the allow and uh, rules in the IP addresses click on name type in allow DNS your protocol would be UDP source address would be like we did before 10 0 slash 24 your destination would be a uh, 209.244.0.0 Three. This is the random public IPs that I've picked up. 209.244.0.4 Destination port would be 53 DNS. Click on Okay, two four two zero nine. All right, click on add. It's updating the rule now. Change the primary and secondary DNS address for the server work network interface for testing purposes. In this video, we will configure the primary and secondary DNS addresses. So, this is not a general Azure firewall requirement, but uh, let's go to my resource group. This one. Okay. So now I'm going to click on my resource group and I'm going to go to this SRV work virtual machine. It's been a long video, I know, but there are some things that are related and need to be discussed to fully function. This is the SRV work virtual machine. It is uh, Windows 2016 data center. It's a standard DS1 V2 machine and I'm going to go to the networking tab of this virtual machine. So I'm configuring uh, the primary and secondary DNS addresses. I'm going to click on its uh, NIC. And in here under DNS servers, I'm going to click on custom. And I'm going to type in those IP addresses for which I created the IP address rule under the firewall. So it would be 209.244.0.3. And second would be 209.244.0.4. Okay, 4. Awesome, I'm going to click on save. So it says it, it can restart the virtual machine. It's okay. So we have to wait till the time uh, it's going to do it. If it doesn't, I'm going to restart this virtual machine. So it is saving this network interface. Okay. After this, I'm going to restart this virtual machine and we're going to test the firewall. I'm going to restart this VM just to be just to make sure that everything is in place. Click on restart. It's going to restart the virtual machine. I'm going to pause the video and come back. The virtual machine has been successfully restarted. Now to test the firewall, what I'm going to do here is just to make sure that it works as expected. Uh, for this, what we're going to do is So, from the portal, I'm going to go to this SRV work virtual machine and uh, let me note the private IP of this virtual machine. This is the private IP 10.0.2.4. All right. So, 
I'm going to connect to this SRV chum. So if I go to my this box resource group and check all the resources and if I go to my SRV jump this is the box it's a virtual machine in East US region I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna to connect to it I'm going to connect to it. I'm going to click on yes. From here on, I'm going to connect to my SRV work using the private IP address. So I'm going to drop it down. I'm going to go to this. And I'm going to go to my, this is my private IP. 10024 copy it go to my SRB jump box now from here I'm going to do MSTSC to my SRB work machine login and I'm going to type in the password okay Yes, as you can see, I'm logging on to the private, the SRV work machine here. Now I'm going to go to the Internet Explorer on the SRV work machine, private IP, but not on the, pub, the SRV jump box. And let it come up. I'm going to use the default settings. I'm going to do HTTPS colon whack whack your www.msn.com. Hit OK. OK. The page cannot be displayed. And if I go to uh, this msn.com page cannot be displayed. So that is why your uh, this is not working because of the firewall rule. So now if you go to the uh, network watcher, let's say you go on to home. I'm on to the network watcher and if you would click on topology and if you can click on the resource group then you can virtual network this is the jump server name this is the uh, pip and this is how the firewall rules have been set up and this is the virtual network so this is how it is doing so this is the firewall DG the firewall root from the user that will access it. So this is how the Azure firewall works and this is how you create the rules. I hope you understood it. I hope you liked this video. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a great day.